The controversial French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. Five people are in a critical condition. These are the live pictures we have for you from the scene right now in, in Paris. President Francois Hollande has just finished speaking and he told journalists that several terrorist attacks have been thwarted in recent weeks. Security forces are trying to corner the terrorists, the gunmen. There are several of them who appear to be using automatic rifles uh, as well as uh, possibly have grenades and even suicide vests. Uh, so this will be a very tricky scenario and as it draws out and gets longer, it will certainly create a, a great deal of panic in that region and potentially uh, give Al-Shabaab uh, more... The top story response. is from neighboring Pakistan. Peshawar's army public school has turned today into a graveyard. In a cowardly and desperate act, the Taliban targeted over 120 school children. They were taken hostage, used as human shields, brutally shot in the head and chest by terrorists. The siege took as long as seven hours. The terrorists have been killed, but not before they caused unprecedented damage. The Taliban claims this to be a revenge attack for the army's operations against militants in the North Waziristan region of Pakistan. But could there be a more cowardly act by the Taliban than targeting young... The bloody broad daylight murder in London is now being investigated as an act of terrorism. Two men were witnessed brutally hacking to death a young man who's thought to have been an off-duty soldier. It happened in Woolwich in the so, southeast. Uh, alleged that at the time that they were, uh, they were coming out with statements uh, in Arabic, Allahu Akbar, uh, God is great. Uh, and it's also thought that they said at one point, uh, Almighty Allah, we will never stop fighting. So uh, a lot of concern at the moment, I think, that the pitch is certainly being built up is that this is a terror told related. one of our producers matt frucci is there on the ground talking to us by phone what can you tell us matt hi it was about 15 20 minutes ago near the finish line on boylston avenue here in boston when i heard two explosions the first one i saw was closer to the finish line from where we were it was big it was booming i saw a big mount of smoke come up uh, and about 10 seconds later across the street from me on the sidewalk another big explosion is Harris Zafar, the national spokesperson for Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA. Good morning, Harris. Good morning. Thank you for having me back on. We can only imagine the experience this must be for you, an American-born Muslim, as you watch mm. all of this violence across the world that pits Americans against Muslims. How do you make sense of this? Uh, you're right. It's incredibly frustrating, uh, being the right in the middle. You know, I feel allegiance to America. I feel allegiance to Islam, and to see uh, see both sides kind of attacking each other. But fortunately, the question about how to how to respond has already been answered by the countless Muslims that have already come out to condemn this violence, as well as the protests we see in Libya by the lay people. Uh, this is really, in my mind, a vicious cycle in which Muslims are provoked, and then they react with unjustifiable violence. And all, both sides of this vicious cycle need to be addressed. First and foremost is the violence, which Muslims must be quick in condemning and uh, denouncing. And for the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, that's part of our DNA. Under the guidance of our worldwide Khalifa, we've been empowering moderation for over a century because as Muslims who believe in the Messiah, Mirza Ghulam Amr Ghadian, we believe that extremism amongst Muslims can be reined in by reverting back to the true original the Muslim organization is fighting back against radicalization by launching a new campaign to ensure young people aren't being brainwashed into joining Isis CTV's Colin DeMello joins us now with more on this campaign Colin yeah, good afternoon, Michelle. We're in Vaughan this afternoon where uh, a Muslim organization across Canada, Muslim organization, invited us here to talk about their new campaign called Stop the Crisis with the emphasis on the last four letters, ISIS. They are trying to battle that group's ideologies and trying to stop young people in this country from being radicalized. So it is a two-pronged strategy that they're embarking on today. One is they're working with York Regional Police to come up with a list of indicators to be able to better identify a person who's on the path to being radicalized. And the second thing is they're launching in-class programs specifically targeting university students uh, like York University and the University of Toronto as well as colleges and community centers to try to uh, identify young people who might be on that path and try to stop them. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community. And our motto is love for all, hatred for none. What's unique about our group is that since our inception 121 years ago, we've rejected any form of violence whatsoever. Um, 
as, as a result of that, we've been branded as hair techs by many of the same type of extremists that trained Faisal Shahzad. Mm -hmm. And do you think, and there has been a lot of talk about this in the, in the mainstream press, that there needs to be more moderate Muslims like yourself that stand up and say to this radical element that this needs to stop? Absolutely, and this is why we're taking the lead on this. Um, over the past 90 years since we've been in America, we've been launching this campaign. This isn't something we just started you know, a few years ago because it was the thing to do. This has been our inception since day one, and we're asking all moderate Muslims to join with us. We're taking the lead on this. We have a great organization in America. We have over 65 chapters. Uh, it's high time we did something about it.